Uh, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to bring you three generations of DeWalt by versus uh, Muggin' Part 3, by the way. This is 1994, Bobby Daughter, number 08, DeWalt Chevrolet. The next one is 1996, Hermie Sandler, number 29, DeWalt Chevrolet. And the, the other one is 2006, uh, number 17, Matt Kenseth, DeWalt Ford. I thought that was pretty cool. I decided to share that with you. Um, um, go on Google and look up Michael McDowell Hype Energy, uh, Toyota. Okay, and put that aside, and now look at this. Hype Energy sponsored Kevin LePage, and Kevin got a win in this car, uh, back in Homestead some random ass time ago. I read, and uh, at first I didn't know what hype was. I thought this was a promo car, so I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. No, it's a Bush Series car, uh, Kevin LePage. So, yeah, that's pretty gay. It has gay colors, pink, blue, and yellow. Pink should never be on an NASCAR car, unless it's for breast cancer. Uh, the next one is uh, Casey King's number 9 Mountain Dew Dodge. Uh, this is another cool car. I a lot of people like it. Uh, obviously, an ancient Mountain Dew logo now. Um, this is back in 04, so, and they switched it like 17 times after. <coughs> um, you'll recognize this car. It's Elliott Sadler's 2004 Texas race win car. Uh, that, this is the final race version car I have, I think, unless I look. Uh, You'll be able to see uh, race version cars of personalized ones later, uh, and I'll show you how to make one. And there you go after that. Um, this is Hermie Sadler's number 25, Virginia's for Lovers Chevrolet. Uh, people have been looking all around eBay for this. Uh, you could probably find it now, but yeah, that the, my stepdad got me this car from Virginia. Ironically, they had it in a clearance bin in a Virginia tourist center for a dollar fifty, I believe it was. So he was like, "Oh, that is kick ass!" So he bought one for him. He bought a one twenty four scale for him, and he bought a one sixty four scale for him, uh, for me. So that's a hard to find car. What you're about to see now is a, a <coughs> twenty four karat gold Steve Grissom Chev uh, Chevrolet. It's an actual gold car. Uh, it's awesome. Kicks ass. This is not gold painted. It's actual gold. The I never raced with this car. It's actually really cool. So, and I polish it. So, yeah, it's my baby. Uh, I thought this was weird. This is a Ken Schrader M and M's Pontiac with no decals, front, uh, headlight decals on it. Uh, I don't know if they're for God or what, or else they're underneath the wrap, but uh, I decided to show that to you. There's no decal, front decals on there. They're M&M's, anyway. Uh, this is Daryl Waltrip, uh, number 66, big Kmart car. <coughs> Back in, uh, let's see here, 1999. Uh, that's a, uh, that, uh, my grandma bought me this car, and I didn't know who the hell it was at the time. I was just big into Jeff Gordon and Jeff Gordon only because he won all the time. Now he doesn't win for shit. Uh, and I learned this is Daryl Waltrip, and this is the year before he re decided to retire. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this is an ARCA car. Uh, this is Tim Steele's number 16 HS Die, uh, Simling Ford. I have Frank Kimmel's too, and yeah, that, my brother got me this car from one of the Fle Web Road Flea Market down in North Carolina. Uh, you bought it for like two bucks or something like bullshit like that. <coughs> Arca cars are always hard to find, and a Frank Kimmel Winter Circle car is extremely hard to find. Uh, I just find it interesting that. You can find him like that. They came out with a Plymouth one like that, too, back in Arca. Uh, here is a non-hood opening 2004 Icebreakers Liquid Ice Mint Chevrolet. And, and that's also another cool paint scheme. Uh, I liked it. So, I got it. 
see, that's what happens when you get a job. You can buy whatever you want. It's a wonderful feeling. Uh, this is Kyle Bush's 2003 Dietic.com Chevrolet. This is Neem Co. Or Dem Co., whatever you want to call it. It's Joe Nemechek's race team. Uh, if you remember his, fir uh, his first start, he finished second to Matt Kenseth at Lowe's. Uh, <coughs> dang it. Once again, I'm sick. So, uh, when I made this, I probably shouldn't have made this while I was sick. That was stupid. But, I was just too excited to decide to make it now, so. Uh, this is, this next car is Jeff Fuller's 1996, uh, Sunoco uh, number 47 Chevrolet my stepdad bought me this and uh, he got a win at Bristol with this car if you don't remember uh, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube and uh, Fox uh, no ESPN uh, covered it He, uh, they showed race footage of that win and they showed him in victory lane uh, this is another one of those hard to find cars you know uh most people I've seen, their cars are all wrecked and shit, and their fins are, and their spoilers are wrecked and shit, all chinged up, and, uh, you know, it's all messed up, but this car is a nice looking car. Uh, this is Rusty Wallace's Bell Helicopter Dodge. Uh, he raced it in Mexico. Uh, that was another harder to find car. Uh, it's a mass-produced winter circle. Uh, this next one was a promo. Uh, the number 40 Tums Dodge. <coughs> yeah, it's a, it's a nice car. I used to you get stop motion with, uh, stop motions with it. Um, this uh, next one is also a promo. I bought this in Manaqua, Wisconsin. It's somewhere up north. Uh... It's Jeff Burton's number 31 Prilosec OTC car. It's from 2005 or 6 or whatever. It doesn't really show decals. On the bottom it says 06, but the headlights say 05. Or are from 05. Uh, a lot of people want this car. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, COT templates for this car. Um, obviously, you have a hard time finding it. Um, it was obviously cheaply wrapped. There's one wrap over another on this, but it's still Jeff Burton's Prowlers set car. It's not custom made. It's an actual <coughs> Prowlers set car. All right, now look carefully here. This is a race version car. Those are donuts from another car. Uh, if I can find the car, ah, oh, here it is. Um, back in '89, the star. Uh, the race car makers, they didn't know shit on how to make race cars, so they put the tires way out. This is just an example. This is not actually my Rusty Wallace car I wanted, but I have Rusty Wallace's Miller Genuine Draft number 27 car. Decals have faded off on it, but you can still tell it was Rusty's. Uh, I basically had to go like this with the cars, and uh, they made donuts and stuff. I know this is a rare, hard to find car, but you know, the 99 is, but, you know, I, once the donut was on there, I'm like, that's sweet, uh, I made it into another one, too, I did it, uh, this one, I got rubber on the front, and, uh, and black rubber on the front, and then I got donuts on the side, so, they're actual donuts, so, those actually look pretty cool, <coughs> um, this is a collector's envy car, the car's, uh, you can't, you have to buy the whole set if you're going to buy these cars. Uh, there's only one mass-produced car, and that was Ricky Bobby's number 26 car. That was the only mass-produced winner circle car. You could buy it at Walmart. These next ones you have to buy from specialty shops or at NASCAR stores, like, for, like Cal Norton Jr., uh, Ricky Bobby's number 62 me car, and John, Char John Charard's number 55. Uh, I also got the Laughing Con car with it, but... I gave it to I let my brother have it. Uh, he's got it down in North Carolina, so it's basically collector envy there. They love these cars and they want them. <coughs>